Hey guys, we're going to start the Math Lit Paper 2 um, for IEB from November 2019. Um, just again, look at the instructions that you get. Importantly, just talking about what sort of calculator you can use um, and then obviously rounding off. They haven't said it here, but they'll specify it in the question. Okay, just something to bear in mind. So let's just jump in and get going. Okay, let me just... Okay. <clears throat> Let's just look at what is asked of us. So it says, Quickety Wash Laundromat is offering a special deal on the washing and ironing of laundry. According to this deal, the char they charge 10 rand service fee, so that's a standard rate, and then 20 rand, rand per kg, right, of laundry handed in for washing and ironing. Okay, so what's important here, right, is that this 21 rand is dependent on the number of kgs there are, right? So it increases with the number of kgs, but the 10 rand is like a flat fee, right? You're gonna get that whether you have one kg or 15 kgs, okay? So then it says, determine the equation that represents the special deal offered by Quickety Wash. Let C represent the cost right so we want to work out c right let k be the number of kilograms so we know that k is going to be the number of kilograms we know that each kilogram right we have to times it by 21 because that's going to be the cost right because it's 21 rand per kilogram and then that's all okay so let's just like sub it in and say okay if we have one kg we know that it's going to be 20 rand rand plus 10 rand, which is 31 rand. If we have two kgs, right, we know it's going to be 2 times 21 rand plus 10, which is, uh, I think that's 52. Let me just check. I did that correct. Yeah, 52 rand. So these are all in rands. Okay. If we have three kgs, so I'm just showing you like how I'm getting this general formula. Okay. Again, we're going to add 10. Okay. And that is going to be 73. I think that's correct. Yeah. Cool. So you see here, that's why I said it's K and that's the number of kgs, right? I'm just going to put a one in there so you can see. Um, this means times, right? Two times 21, three times 21, 21 times one. So it's 21 rand times however many kgs there are. And then we always add 10 rand, right? Do you see that? Standard, right? So I've basically put a general form to what we know is the rule here. So what we do is regardless of the number of kgs, we just sub it in there and we can get the cost, right? Always just remember that when we're talking about cost, we're talking about currency. So we're talking about rands in this instance. So you must always put a rand sign and round off to two decimal places when needed. Okay. Then it says for 1.2, it says using the equation you determined in question 1.1, right? Draw a graph that best represents the special deal offered by Quickety Wash for up to a maximum of 10 kgs. Okay, let's just see, right? What, let's go back to our question and just reiterate the rule. So it's 10 rand service fee, 20 rand rand per kg. But then it also says here, or part thereof. Right, so if I have 1.5 kgs, right, I have to pay the 2 kg fee. Even if I have 1.1 kgs, I'm also going to pay the 2 kg fee, right? Because they do it in intervals as opposed to specifically to the kg weight, right? Anything over 1 and less than 2, you charge the 2 rate. Anything over 2 but less than 3, you'll charge the 2 rate. Okay, so it'll be efficient here if you got as close to a whole number as possible. And by whole number, I mean basically with no decimals, right? So like a one, a two, or a three. So let's try draw this graph, okay? Importantly, guys, when we talk about graphs, right, there's, we'll get certain marks for things that aren't even that not important, but that we don't necessarily think about always, right? You'll get marks for labeling your axes, right? And you'll get a mark for putting a heading. So let's do that now. So we're saying, I think we should say cost, these weight, right? Because that's what, we, what we're showing the, the relationship, right? That's the relationship we're showing. Um, of quickety wash, so I'm just going to put a QW. You write it out. I just haven't been so good with my spatial management yet. Okay, so it's the cost versus weight of Quickity Wash Special. Okay, so we're going to put weight down here, right? And the reason I'm putting weight at the bottom 
is because, right, I'm just going to put it kgs in brackets, is because weights are independent variable. Now, you could be saying, okay, Margs, what does that mean? Right? It means that when weight changes, it impacts the cost, right? Cost is directly related to how much weight we have, right? So that's why we put that, because that's independent. But cost is the dependent, right? So we're going to put it over there. Oh, my R's oh, sometimes. Okay. Right? So now we've labeled it. That's already three marks we've got there. Okay? Let's now put... 0 to, what did they say? 2, 10. Let's put it along here. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. You see that? Okay. You might want to maybe do this in pencil initially, um, just if you're a little bit wary, but also just be wary of time. Okay. You don't want to be spending too long on this. I mean, it is 10 marks, so it's a significant amount of the paper, but you don't want to spend too much time on this. Okay. Then let's look at the cost. So we can see the cost goes up by like 21 rand, right? With each increase in in kg. So maybe let's just make each of these 20, right? You can make them 21 if you want, but sometimes it's just nicer to make it like a, a number that is sort of like more common or more front of mind, right? And any sort of multiple of 10 is often quite front of mind, right? Um, if it's not front of mind for you, then then that's okay. But that's what I would, I would always look to do something that's either <clears throat> a multiple of two or five or 10, right? Because those are things that are easy for, for the viewer to understand. Okay, so let's draw this in. Okay, I have a very strange looking pencil here. Okay, <clears throat> so we know that at zero, right? At zero, it's gonna cost us 10. So let me just count how many little intervals there are. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Okay, cool. So I'm just gonna count five. One, two, three, four, Oh my goodness, one, two, three, four, five, okay? That there is that service fee, that service fee of 10, okay? But you're not gonna pay the service fee until you have some sort of weight, right? You're not gonna just go into quickity wash and be like, hey, I'm just gonna give Hoi you a 10 rand and not even like give you any washing, right? So let's say, so 21 is like over here. I should probably have sharpened my pencil. Oh my goodness, that's dreadful. But anyways, okay. You're going to have to bear with me with my nasty, nasty pencil. Okay. So you might be saying, okay, Marks, why did you do the straight line? But it's what I highlighted over here, right? Anything that is, is between 0 and 1 kg, we're going to charge 1 kg. Anything that's between 1 kg and 2 kg, we're going to charge this 2 kg rate. And that's why I'm making it flat like this, right? Because it's to show that you pay the same rate, right? Up until one. Then when you get to two, you're going to pay over here. Okay, I'm doing it freehand. Don't do it freehand like me, okay? <laughs> don't, don't be an honor like me. I'm just showing you the relationship. Oh, goodness gracious. I don't know if you can see the relationship with how messed up I'm doing this. Okay, and you literally are just... You are just, am I doing this right? Oh no, I'm actually doing it wrong. I forgot about the 10, guys. I was about to say, why didn't you tell me? But you can't tell me because I'm, I'm, <laughs> you are not with me. Okay, you see, this is why we should use what we have before. Okay, we went 31, 52, 73. <laughs> so 31 is actually kind of over here, right? It's kind of in the middle of those two intervals. Then we go to 52, which is again in the middle of those two intervals. Then we go over here, 72. Okay, and you keep doing that. So, I mean, sorry, 73, right? 31, 52, 73. Then we're going to go to 94. So we're getting closer and closer to an even number. Then it's going to be, so you might be saying, okay, where did you get 94 from? I'm just literally substituting in each of my next um kilograms right so by that i mean here was this is for one this is for two this is for three this is for four then five is going to be let's actually start doing this on our calculator it just makes it a little bit easier for us okay it's going to be 115 okay try to be as accurate as possible i'm trying to do this 
freehand so that you can kind of understand what I'm doing, but also we can get through the questions a little bit quicker. Remember, it said only go up to 10 kgs. So we're only going to do this up until 10 kgs. Okay, so now I'm sitting at 157. So we're getting very close to being on an actual solid line. Okay, 178. So again, there's us. I just want you to see what I'm doing here. Do you see? I'm literally putting each number in, changing my K value, using the same formula that I derived up here, and then just putting it in like that. Okay, 9, we're sitting at 199, so we're literally there. Okay, and then let's show you what I'm doing in my calculator. Okay, 220. Okay. So that is our graph, okay? So what we did here, just to reiterate what we did, is we were showing we're showing that there isn't like a line like this. It obviously is increasing because as weight increases, cost increases, so we can see that it is increasing. But we're showing that if it's between two numbers, we always round it up. Even if it's just over two, if it's just over two, we still pay the rate for three. Okay, and that's why I showed all of these. What you do is you just use this formula we had here. You sub in every number, right, up until 10. You get this graph. Remember your different labels, but otherwise, that is us done, okay? <clears throat> Let's see if there was anything else they wanted from us. I think that's it, okay? Let's now move to 1.3 and this is going to be the last video I mean the last question of this video and then I'll make another video for 1.4 I just don't want the video to be too long okay so it says use your graph to determine the cost of washing and ironing 55 kilograms let me see that you check you can see what I'm seeing of laundry write the value in rands on the line below and indicate with the letter a on your graph where you read this value from okay now 5.5 .5 is somewhere over here, okay? So now you could be thinking, okay, like I don't actually know what's going on. So let's let's put in, right, let's see what we're doing. Remember I said, yeah, with anything that is between five and six, we're gonna charge the rate of six. So we can check it on our calculator. We see it's 136 Rand, right? So we're gonna put an A over here right? Because that's the amount we're going to charge, be charged, right? And that's going to say 136 Rand. Okay, so that is going to be the answer there. The, the crux of this question is very much understanding these little straight intervals between kilograms where you pay a set rate regardless of how much is in between each of these kgs. And then when you get to a uh, a round kg or whole number kg, you then jump to a higher interval. Okay, that's very important. Okay, so that is that. That's 136 rand. That is the end of that, right? Um, let us now move on to 1.4.